guys, welcome to an all new episode with Conflicts. Today I'm super excited to show you the all new Zeus. This was sent over by Morbot, in which if you want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now, this year is a brand new humanoid robot that has 22 servos, the most we've ever seen, in which it's fully customizable and fully programmable. So you can go ahead and 3D print your own parts, as well as make your own custom dance moves or fighting moves. So seeing how this thing should function should be quite some fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. All right, so check it out. This here is our box. It's actually got a very heavy duty feel to it. Now on the cover itself it says more about Zeus. And then over here it kind of shows you more of like a diagram or a blueprint of the particular robot itself. Uh, it says mech gets solved, fighting, education, entertainment, athletics, etc. So definitely a very heavy duty case and on the top here it says warning, uh, this is not for kids. It's got this really nice looking handle and it's got these almost like, uh, like locks over here on the side as well. And then as you kind of rotate it, it says the same thing on this side as well. So what we do is we just go ahead and do this and then from there we just go ahead and lift it up and see what's on the inside. Whoa, check that out. So right on the top here, you do see the robot kind of sitting here. We got a remote, uh, we got the robot. It looks like we got some screws and nuts and we got a few different pockets here. And then on the top here, we do have a, like almost like a slip part here. So there's stuff in here as well. It's all made a very nice like foam cushion. So you can definitely go ahead and take this wherever you want to go. All right, so we got ourselves a quick little user manual here, kind of telling you exactly how to go ahead and put it together. You even have a quick little layout in terms of the controller goes. So this here is the default programming, but you can always go ahead and create your own custom programs, which we'll go into in a little bit. Uh, and then over here is the uh, different parts that it comes with, as well as an idea exactly how to go ahead and program it, as well as boot them up. Now, this here is the assembled version, but they do have an unassembled version as well. So it kind of teaches you step by step in terms of directions on how to go ahead and build this robot. Uh, definitely a great way to understand it just because if you do break something at least you know how to go ahead and fix it uh, so this here is some screws so just go ahead and open that up and everything's kind of nicely labeled here so these are here are for spare parts in case if you need to go ahead and uh, change something on it and it also comes with a variety of different parts as well so you can go ahead and put on more armor or you can go ahead and 3d print your own armor and put that on there using the screws as well now this here is our remote wow look at that it's actually really cool it's actually got a nice sturdy feel to it uh, it's actually almost looks like a playstation controller it says zeus right over here so you know your typical controller here and then, and then uh, do note that it does take two AA batteries so we have ourselves an adapter here to charge our robot and then over here we have ourselves a usb uh, so we got our programming as well as our uh, debugger so the debugger allows us to go ahead and program our robot itself in terms of the servos as well as different custom moves which we'll look at in the app uh, in a little bit now this here is our robot whoa <laughs> this guy is definitely very heavy so this here is Zeus and wow, this thing looks really cool. It's actually got a lot of different things going on with it. Uh, one thing I want to note, it does have these very interesting different body panels on here. Now note, you can go ahead and even put ones on the shoulder as well as in the legs. So they do come with extra body panels that you can go ahead and apply to it. But it does limit the capability of the robot itself in terms of movement go. So they do recommend removing them in terms of certain movements. Now overall, it's actually a very unique design. Uh, it's actually got a lot of different servos which gives it a lot of different flexibility in terms of movement goes so you can go ahead and rotate the legs uh, you can rotate the waist even the head shoulder arm you name it it's actually a lot of different servos so you do kind of have to realize that it's all working together at once now on the back here uh, so we have ourselves a uh, battery pack that's on the inside here so you got a charging cable that goes through here and then you have your on off button over here as well and then on the bottom here is a cable port that allows you to go ahead and connect it to the computer so you can go ahead and program the robot as well. And with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and boot up this guy and see what he's all about. So we're all set and ready to go. Uh, this here is our controller, so we have basic movements. So over here we have arrows. So if you go and press that, you'll see it go left, it'll go right, it'll go back, and then it'll go forward, and etc, etc. Now on the bottom here on the left analog, we have rotational. So you can go ahead and spin them in different directions based on which way you want to go to. So do keep that in mind. So it does give you a full range of motions in terms of movement goes. Now over here we have a few different attacks as well as gestures. Uh, so if we go ahead and hit X, he'll go ahead and punch that direction. And then if we go ahead and hit the other one, we will go ahead and punch in that direction. And then in addition to that, we have a few different gestures. So if I go ahead and push the right analog up, he'll go and do like one of these little cheers. So he'll put his hands up and down, 
kind of like cheering to the crowd, so almost like a taunt. <laughs> and he does a little bow after that. And then if you go ahead and push this down, he'll go ahead and do like a karate chop. Whoa! <laughs> so that's one attack right there. And then we'll get back up. Uh, and then other than that, we can go ahead and push it right. We'll go ahead and do like a small little wave. That's like a greet. And then if we go ahead and press left, we'll go ahead and do an uppercut. So very cool design, definitely a very in unique kind of uh, motion as well. So you do see all the servos moving, which is really nice. Now we have A and Y. A will go ahead and do a little pose just like that. And if you press it a few times, you can actually kind of do a little dance at the same time. So that's that. And then if we go ahead and hit Y, this here is like a attack. Whoa! <laughs> So that was Muay Thai. Uh, I'm gonna try that again, so hit Y again. So he kinda like gets ready for it, and then he'll go BAM! <laughs> so like a double hit right there. So very interesting, very unique, definitely nonetheless. So those are our default moves. So let's go ahead and try out some custom moves really quickly and kinda show you what he's capable of. All right, so we're gonna go and grab our USB debugger and we're gonna go ahead and switch it over into uh, robot mode. This will go ahead and allow us to customize a robot. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect to it using this cable here that comes with it. I'm just gonna plug it in just like that. And then I'm gonna plug this into the computer. And then on the bottom of the robot, we're gonna go ahead and connect the cable to it right over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn on the robot with this power button right here. And this will allow us to go ahead and connect to the robot via the computer and give it custom moves. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up Command for Feng Ying. This here is our program that allows us to go ahead and customize the robot. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Open Debugger, and then we're gonna hit Synchronize, and then click OK. So this here is our robot right over here, uh, and if I go ahead and just kind of slide one of these panels here, you'll see that the robot will move in accordance to that. So we can actually create our own custom animations doing this. So you can actually go ahead and unlock the three different uh, servos over here and move it freely. And then we can go ahead and uh, lock in the joints, which allows us to go ahead and create a different posture. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some custom motions to the robot and kind of show you what it's capable of. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So I went ahead and applied some dance moves to this robot to just kind of show you exactly what it could do. So this is your dance. Oh, snap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so check that out. That was actually a very interesting move. It even did a little dab at the end. That was pretty crazy stuff. Uh, so that is one dance right over there. So these here are some other dance moves as well. So let's try this. <laughs> it's like almost like a Michael Jackson kind of dance move. Oh snap! <laughs> Definitely very hip hop ish, I'll tell you that. Let's try another one. <laughs> He's like moving his pelvis. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> So yeah, uh, another interesting dance move. Uh, let's go ahead and try another one, see what this one is. All right, look at that, some slow dance movement right there. <laughs> so you guys, you see all the different twisting that he does. This is actually very unique. Uh, definitely a very interesting different uh, terms of dancing goes. So let's try some other ones here. So this here is like the analog I had added. <laughs> so that's one dance move. Uh, let's try another one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so kind of gives you an idea of what this robot can do. Definitely a lot of unique different dances. Uh, so let's go ahead and try something else. This here's like Tai Chi. Uh, it's almost like karate in a way. So let's see what this guy can do. All right, so the next thing we'll try is Tai Chi.
Guys, this is another one. Have it kind of gives you an idea what this robot's about so you can go ahead and create your own custom animations which come great in terms of robot fighting and overall it's actually very well responsive and it's actually very quick in terms of the servos go uh, and if you have any questions about Zeus itself feel free to comment down below otherwise thank you again for watching I'll see you guys next time take care now bye bye